Hi, my name is Desiree Reynolds and I am recording this little snippet of a video to uh, for Comma Press to talk about character. Um, so uh, character is one of my favourite subjects. Um, I think it's a favourite subject of anyone that's a little bit nosy um, and wants to know more generally about people. I think characters uh, is probably for me, anyway, one of the keyest components of good writing. If you don't get character right, I think no matter how great the story is, the, the it can fall down if the character uh, that you've written is unable to uh, transmit the story to the best of your ability and their ability. But one of the things that I think is important to remember about character, and it's a thing that I come across kind of quite often, in, um, in teaching about character is that somehow we get ourselves confused with the character, us the writer and the character are not the same people. Um, so there's various different tools that we use in order to distinguish who our, our, this character is, what the character's motivation is. And quite a few of those tools is like, um, creating a backstory um, and this backstory can be as detailed as you want it to be. Thinking about your character's backstory is something, like I said, it's to help you know your character better. Now, some of the things in the backstory can be um, where they're from, um, their home life, whether they have siblings, some people get quite detailed with their backstory. So it could be their zodiac sign or their arisha or um um what day they you know what what chinese um sign they are it could be that detailed if you're to favorite color favorite food the street name that they grew up on um and yeah it can be that detailed but it doesn't have to be so one of the things about a backstory is that it's better for you um, and it becomes a better piece of writing if the backstory is just the backstory. We do not need to know, unless it's relevant to the story, because the story, the story dictates all. Unless it's relevant to the story, we do not need to know what the backstory of the character is. That's for you to know, you the writer to know. And then there's elements of those backstories, there's elements of those things that can come out a little bit where we we know that their reaction is bad because of a certain situation that they had before. That can definitely happen, but most of the time that backstory is like a general background hum for you to understand how your character will say something, will, what will motivate them, um, but the backstory doesn't come out. It's clues in the name. <laughs> the backstory. Um, but I do think it makes for better writing if you understand those things about your character and that it, you can drop little bits in, which means that um, you're giving the character a fullness and a roundness rather than it being just something quite one dimensional. Uh, but also thinking about um, showing us who this character is through dialogue, through what people think about this character what this character says and what is said about them and also what the character does, obviously, but what the character's motivation is. And that's all kind of what a writer does is to make that story as transmittable as possible and as believable as possible. So as I said before, without a good character or good characters, I think that's much, much harder, if not now impossible. And at the same time, um, character is so everywhere and it's so all-encompassing that we forget to think about it as a thing that's separate of itself. So my main tip is to remember that you are not the character. Use all the tools that you can to distinguish yourself from the character, obviously unless you're writing memoir where it is actually you. But if it's not you and you want to write it as effectively as you can, then to try and separate yourself out from the character in order to 
give them a life of their own. Often I read stuff um, where I'm wondering who's saying this? Is it the author saying this? It's worth thinking about, concentrating on. And if you have a short story that you're working on, put your character in several different situations and then see how that character reacts. And then you're helping yourself to know the character a bit better. And then you've got loads of other stories too, which is always um, always a bonus, uh, which you can uh, keep. Then my main tip is to, is to get out of your character's way. Let the character be, study the character as much as you can um, and enjoy, enjoy writing. Often, even myself, I find it, it's kind of ends up being a little bit of a tyranny uh, you know, being a jobbing writer sometimes feels like, oh, I forgot to write this. I don't know what I'm doing. So you feel the tyranny of the empty page. Um, and it does feel like that sometimes, yeah. But I just I have to remind my students that I'm working with that actually we want to do this, don't we? We enjoy it, don't we? It's fun, isn't it? So make it fun. So we learn about a character through generally six, six things. So what they say, how they say it, what they think, what they do, what is said about them by other characters and an author's direct statement. I would concentrate on the first five. I think author's direct statements can sometimes feel a little bit prescriptive and not giving the reader enough time to understand the character and get to know them on their own, which is what we're trying to do. And lastly, um, about character, please try to not write stereotypical characters. I think it's something that anyone can fall into, including me, uh, because uh, we live in the society and the world that we live in. So we all have like, certainly most of us have very similar fields of references. So it's kind of quite easy to fall into a stereotype, but it's kind of lazy. Um, and it belies the amount of work you've done in all the other stuff. The only other part of your, your amazing uh, story to come across stereotype characters feels like a bit of a letdown. Um, so we don't particularly want a strong black woman. We don't particularly want a villain that has a disability or is fat. We don't want that a character is so beautiful that that's the motivation. Beauty is not a characteristic. I've said that over and over again. Uh, and we also want to um, get to know the characters. It's a, it's a relationship. Reading isn't passive. So it's a relationship. So I think that you conduct it, you conduct the writing of the character and what happens to the character and what motivates the character, the same way that you would conduct any other relationship. And I think that makes it a more interesting and satisfying read for the reader. Enjoy. <laughs>